So I have been planning on doing this video for a while. Um, I'm just now getting to it because now I guess it's the perfect time. But I'm ranking teen dramas. Now listen, this is just my opinion. This is how I feel about the show. I'm not going based on like the popular opinion. This is just me. You know, nostalgia will not be playing a part in some of these shows. I'm telling you now because I've rewatched a lot of these, at least the ones that I've seen. And some of them don't hold up the way that they did when I was younger. And um, yeah, we're going to talk about it. I know I'm going to piss some people off. I know I am. I'm going to piss somebody off. Because there are shows that people love that I just think are mid. It it just is what it is. And we're going to get into it. But um, also, whoever made this, I had to actually add some shows in here. Like, they didn't have the All-American shows and stuff like that. Like, I was like, you're missing quite a few shows. I'm pretty sure it's missing a lot more. But we're going to get into this. So, yeah, let's get started. All right. So, first up, we got The Magicians. I actually really enjoyed this show. I think it started off strong, but the last couple of seasons, I was like, eh. But um, just based off the first few seasons, I'm going to put it in B. I do think it got bad as it went on, but, you know, that's just me. Pretty Little Liars, same thing. I think the first three seasons are really solid. But then season four and five aren't too bad. They're still watchable. But those last few seasons, it was clear they ran out of ideas. And it was just like, what the hell are we doing? I didn't like most of the liars. I liked uh, Spencer and I liked H Hannah. The rest of them, I liked Allison before she was revealed to be alive still. Once once like she was still alive, it was just like everything that made the character interesting was gone about her. It was just non-existent. On my block, never seen it. I saw the trailers when they first dropped and I was just like, mm, not really interested in this. So, yeah. I'm Mad Fat. Is that the name of the show? I've never seen it. I don't even know what this is, to be completely honest with you. Ravenswood is straight dog water. Bro, that show was bad. I don't even want to talk about it, bro. I only watched it because I recognized most of the cast. That was it. I actually saw this before Pretty Little Liars. Cruel Summer. I have not seen that. I think I watched like part of the first episode, but then I wasn't interested enough to go back. I, I do plan on going back and watching it, though. Gilmore Girls, similar. Like, I watched, like, the first 10 minutes of the first episode, and I was like, you know what? This ain't for me. What's this? The A-list? I don't know what this is. If this is good, let me know. Um, I might check it out. Not on my channel, but I'll just, like, watch it on my, my free time. My So-Called Life, I've never seen that. I think I've heard of it before my time, though. Way before my time. Vampire Diaries. I'm gonna put them. I'm gonna put them in high B. I think that see. I I actually don't like season one, but seasons two through four, when the originals were like the villains and stuff, that was the show at its best. Season five was okay. Like Silas wasn't the best villain, but then they brought Kai in for season six. Season six was off the chain, y'all. I'm telling you, season six was crazy. And then season seven and eight, I don't think they're as bad as everyone makes them out to be. I just think, similar to Pretty Little Liars, they ran out of ideas. And I'm tired of, you know, I got tired of seeing my girl Bonnie suffer, man. It was too much, man. Beverly Hills 90210. This show is S tier. Without this show, we don't have teen dramas as we know it. Like, this show is the reason why we have, like, the One Tree Hills the vampire diaries gossip girl like stuff in that vein like if you've seen it let me know how y'all feel about it but i think the high school seasons were good i think that the college seasons were good at least the first couple um once we get to like season seven and eight they're not bad they're still decent but it was clear that the college and high school seasons were the best and then seasons nine and ten were just trash i can't stand those seasons the Fosters. I'm going to put The Fosters in A. I think oh, all in all, it was a great show. The Grassy Next Class. I'm going to put it in B. Um, People give Next Class a hard time. I'll be completely honest. It's not as bad as people try to make it out to be. The first two seasons are cringy, but every series in the Degrassi franchise has been like that the original series was like that with junior high and high the first two seasons of junior high were not that great they had some good moments but as a whole they were pretty cringy 
TNG, which I'm gonna get to in a few, that started off cringy. Like, it didn't start off great. They had some great moments in them, but it wasn't until like the third season where it really picked up. And it's the same thing for Next Class. Season three and four, some of the best Degrassi we have in the franchise come from those two seasons. They were so good, and I'm mad Netflix canceled it. Undeclared, I've never seen that. Skins is a show that I wanted to get into, and then I tried to. It wasn't for me. Uh, I watched like the first couple episodes. I was like, yeah, I'm good on this. TNG at the top. Do I even need to say more? Like, Degrassi The Next Generation is top tier. They have 14 seasons, and out of the 14, they have at least eight or more seasons that are good season one was okay season two was okay season three was really good season four was amazing season five was pretty decent season six was bad season seven was pretty good season eight and nine get a bad rap i think they're better than what people actually say about them like i think those seasons are actually good obviously the teen nick era with seasons 10 through 12 amazing 13 while not the best has some strong storylines same thing with season 14 but all in all like it's a s tier show if you disagree let me know where y'all will put it let me know in the comments because i'd be shocked if most people don't have it s tier the secret life of the american teenager this show is dog water i cannot believe i wasted time watching this show it was so bad but i couldn't stop watching it because it was so ridiculously bad like the acting was bad the storylines was just ridiculous the relationships was bad like oh my gosh this show was all over the place but i couldn't stop watching because it was so entertainingly bad like i don't you know it's nothing i can do about that but yeah it's trash though like real talk friday night lights i think it's okay I know a lot of people herald like Friday Night Lights is like one of the best of all time. I got into it this past year and it was just okay to me. Twin Peaks, don't know what this is. So haven't watched it. If it's good, let me know. Deadliest Class only had one season and it was a pretty good season. Like I'm gonna put it in okay. Only because there's some stuff in the back half that I was just like, I don't like this. <laughs> Teen Wolf. I was going to put this in B, but the movie drops it to a C because I can't talk about the show without the movie because the movie undid so much character development and things that were set up throughout the show that like that movie ruined the show for me. Finding Carter was decent. I actually really enjoyed this show. It ended on a cliffhanger and i think it was on mtv as well and it got canceled uh, what's up with mtv and canceling shows because it's another show on here that i want to get to and i'm pretty sure people know what it is before i even get to it but oh, i'm so mad they canceled this i wanted to see what happened next jenny and georgia i'm gonna put that b i think the first season was kind of cringe but it was some good stuff in it it was a good foundation and then when season two came out i felt like they took all the criticisms of season one and corrected them with season two like season two was really good and i cannot wait for season three and four they're actually filming season three now so i'm really looking forward to see what they're gonna do with that i have no clue what this is it look like some girls or same girls whatever the hell it looked cheap i'm not watching that haven't seen it heart stopper i'm gonna get hate for this i've never seen it i'm just put it right there so i don't gotta drag it all the way down here runaways bro I'm going to put it high. I really enjoyed this show. I like this show more than all these other shows now. Well, hold on. Let me, let me. I still like Teen Wolf, but. Yeah, let me, let me. You fix these up. The Carrie Diaries. I've never seen this. So I'm going to drop that low. The OC. I'm going to put it in B. I'm someone who actually enjoyed the whole show. I don't get the hate for season four. I actually really enjoy season four. My main issue with this show, and I know <laughs> y'all know what's coming. I was not a Marissa fan. Like, I could not get into her character. All the other characters, I get it. They're teens. They're making mistakes. But some of her mistakes was just self-inflicted. Like, she would just do stuff when she really didn't have to. Like, why are you putting yourself in this situation? 
Like, chill out, yo. Like, what's wrong with you? But um, I didn't care for her and Ryan as a relationship. I think I'm probably in the minority. I loved Ryan and Taylor. Like, she made that boy happy. He was not all pouting and brooding all the damn time when uh when she was with him. So yeah, Switch at birth. I haven't finished this, but based off of what I have finished, like I think I'm like three seasons in, and I think it's like five seasons. I'm gonna put it at it's it's good. I'm going to put it above these shows because I'd rather watch it over them. But I haven't finished it. So it might go higher once I finish it. Scam. I don't know what that is. Make it to break it. I heard about it, but I never watched it. One Tree Hill. Oh, God. One Tree Hill. I'm going to put up and I might have to put it S tier. I think it's S tier. The first four seasons, the show could have ended after that. For me, it did because I don't like the adult seasons that much. Season five is okay, and season six is easily the best season of them when they're adults. But um, what was it? Seven? How many seasons did they had? Nine, right? I think they had nine. Seven, eight, and nine. I don't care for like at all, not one bit. Nancy Drew. This is a really solid show. I really like it. And just because I'm putting something in seed doesn't mean that it's not good. It's just not as good as these up here for me personally. And some of them I haven't watched in a while. The End of the Effing World 2. I don't know what that is. The Fate of the... Is that that Wink show? I don't like that show. I haven't seen it, but... I loved the cartoon as a kid. And, like, seeing what they did with the live action. Just based off the trailers and, like, a couple reactions that I've seen. I was like, I'm good. The Originals! The Originals is S tier. It's the best thing from the Vampire Diaries universe. And it's not even close. Like, the characters are great. The actors are great. The storylines are great. The season four and five aren't the best, but they're still better than a lot of the TV shows that's on here. Just like the show as a whole. So good. Where is it at on streaming? They took it off of Netflix. And it's not on um Max. So, like, what are we doing? Put it back on Netflix. I want to rewatch it. Awkward. I couldn't, I, the show was, mm, the show was, I ain't like it like that. Dawson's Creek, I don't get the hype behind the show. I'm going to get hate for this because I know this show is so beloved. I watched it a few months ago. Like I binged it, not binged it, but like I was watching it. I was watching like a few episodes every day from like March to like a couple months ago. Or it might've been like February, like around the time of my birthday, something around that time. It was early this year. And I watched it and I was like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Outside of Joey and Pacey, like, I don't get the rest of this goddamn show. I don't get the hype for it. Dawson is one of the worst leads in TV history. I cannot stand him. One of us is lying. I really enjoyed this show. Maddie got canceled after season two. <sighs> and then they pumped out the second season all at once. So it didn't even get a chance to, like, grow popularity or give time for people to talk about it like it was just all at once and then canceled wasted potential bro scream this show was good i don't care what nobody say scream was good this is a tier for me this show was so good and then they ended it on a cliffhanger mtv canceled it vh1 revived it but recasted everybody it was pretty much a reboot and it pissed me off and i'm not including the vh1 version because no one acknowledges that this show the this yo the two seasons of this show was some of the best television bro it was so good and i'm mad we never got a conclusion to it i heard rumors of like a, a movie or something but i think that was like an april fool's prank it caught me because i thought it was real for a minute light as a feather i only saw the first season and I didn't watch the second season. But just based off of the first season, it, it, it was eh. Wasn't too crazy. Shadow Hunters. Shadow Hunters was okay. I put it in the C. It was okay. Cloak and Dagger, I thought was really good. I liked it better than uh the Runaways. So I'm gonna put that up there in B tier. Next to the OC. Don't know what this show is. Something high. I don't I don't know what this is. Pretty Little Liars the Perfectionist. It had potential. It had potential. But it just wasn't that good. I actually prefer to watch it over any of these shows. Misfits. 
didn't watch that. What the hell is this? Dairy Girls? Bro, what is that? The Secret Circle wasn't a good show. It wasn't. I see why. I see why it got canceled after one season, bro. I understand why. Panic? I have no clue what Panic is, so... I'm gonna put that down there. Elite! Yo, bro. I gotta put Elite up at... I... <sighs> I'm gonna put it at B, but it, for me personally, I like it more than all of these shows. Like none of these shows are in order, in my opinion. Elite first three seasons were so good. Season four was so bad, bro. Like they ruined a lot of character development in that season for no reason. Guzman, Samuel, like they just ruined a lot of stuff that they built up in the first three seasons and it pissed me off. Season five was better. We started getting some new characters. Um, season six actually felt like a good starting, like, soft reboot. And I thought season six was actually pretty decent. Season seven was forgettable. And then I think the show, all in all, finished off strong. Like, I think season eight was actually a strong season. It felt like season one through three. I know some people might not agree, but I do, personally. This that Debbie Ryan show. I ain't never watched this shit. That shit just looked whack. No offense to her. Red Band Society. Don't know what that is. Sex Education. Uh, you heard me with that last season. That It's clear that they still had plans for more seasons. You can tell by season four. But they just ruined a lot about what I liked about the show. Like I couldn't stand Otis at this point as a character. Eric was my favorite character, and I felt like they were ruining him in that season. His whole storyline was just really weird. Maeve went through the same storyline, like, every season. And it's just like, dude, what are we even doing with her? Privilege? I don't even know what the hell this is, bro. Is this that teenage bounty hunter show? I didn't watch that. Everything sucks. I didn't watch that. But I know what's her name is from this show. Sydney Sweeney, I think. Buffy? Buffy gotta go up. Hold on. This show was so goddamn good. If you disagree that Buffy's an A-tier show, you're going to see me in them comments. You feel me? That's all I'm going to say. First Kill, I watched it. It was cool. Surviving Summer. I'm mad, bro, because we're not getting a season three. We're not. And I actually really enjoyed those first two seasons. I hate that. And I, just, I literally got into the show right before season two came out. And I loved season two. I actually tried to react to it, but it wouldn't let me put up my reactions. I don't know what the hell was going on. <laughs> they was doing me dirty. Young Royals. Heard it was good. Haven't watched it. Smallville. I got to put it S tier. Without it, just impact alone. Like the show was good, but just impact alone. We wouldn't have had superhero TV shows without it. We just wouldn't have. And I'm happy they didn't put, like, Flash and Arrow and them on here because they technically weren't teen dramas. Like, Clark was a teen the majority of the show until, like, some of the later seasons. So it makes sense why, like, it's considered the teen drama. But, yeah, the impact of this show alone is crazy. So I had to put it in S tier. And it, like I said, it's a great show. 13 Reasons Why, outside of the first season, the rest of the show was mid to me. I don't understand it. All-American. All-American, All-American. I'm going to put you in C. I'm going to put All-American in C. And the only reason why I'm going to put it in C is because the first two seasons are so strong. Good Trouble, not as good as its original show, but I thought it was solid. I like the, uh, the Coterie characters and stuff like that. Like, I thought it was interesting. It went like five seasons, just like the original show too, so that's kind of crazy. <laughs> Homecoming, I'm going to put it in C as well. I think this season has been really good. And depending on if they stick to landing, I might put it up in B. But the first season was really good. Season two was okay. And then this season is actually strong. I know some people don't, or like, they're not caring for the season because Damon's not there and they're not getting the whole Simone and Damon relationship. I didn't care for them in the first place. I like good stories. Yo, Gossip Girl, the reboot, bro, deserves so much better. It deserves so much better. Like, I really enjoyed it. 
but I feel like they tried to pull a euphoria with it. I think it was too too sexual a little bit to where I was just like, man, it would have been nice if we actually got the character development like we got in the original show. Um, the Society, didn't watch that. Greenhouse Academy, I really enjoy Greenhouse Academy. I'm going to put it up in B. Glee, I have not seen Glee. I heard after like the first few seasons and goes downhill and I, I'm good. I don't want to get into that, that disappointment. Now, some people might be asking, High School Musical, the Musical, the Series. Yes, I put it on here because if it didn't have the Disney like title on it or High School Musical, it would not get looked at as a children's show. Anybody who has watched this show knows that it's a teen drama. It's a teen drama. And especially considering who made this list. You put Dance Academy on here, Greenhouse Academy, like this can be on here. And with that being said, this is a goddamn A-tier show for me. It's not perfect, obviously. The season one soundtrack is kind of weak. Season two was, was terrible. But seasons one, three, and four... Y'all already know some of the best romances, some of the best music when it comes to like musical TV shows. It's so good. Dare me. I watched like I watched that one season and I did not get the hype behind it. Like I was like, what the hell is this show? I didn't think it was good at all. Original Sin. Pretty Little Liars. Yo, this show was so good. I'm going to put in A because I, I, I love it. I like it more than the, the original. I'm sorry. That's just a personal preference thing. Like the two seasons of this, in my opinion, are so good. And the way that it's looking, it's looking like it might not get renewed. So, Max, y'all on my hit list, bro. Like, what are we doing? Scream Queens, yo, this show was so good. The first season was really good, but the second season, I don't know what the hell happened. It was still funny, but it wasn't as good or like cleverly like written as it was in season one. Like, season one was a lightning in a bottle type of situation. Ooh, the summer I turned pretty. I'm about to get hate. I'm about to get hate. This show is not good. I'm sorry, it's not. Let me say this now. I have a bias against shows that are just focused on love triangles. Like, this show, the main point of this show is the love triangle. I know it's based off the book or whatever. Cool, cool, cool. I don't like love triangles, so unfortunately because of the show being about the love triangle it's going to get penalized regardless but like vampire diaries if it would have just been about the love triangle that would have been lower too but the stuff around the love triangle like bonnie had her own character arcs um uh, uh caroline had her own like tyler had his own like everyone had something outside of the love triangle between damon stephanie and elena and even then like they had their own arcs within the love triangle. So it wasn't just like that character was just like lovesick puppies all the time. But this show, their characters are just about the love triangle. I don't like it. I don't like it. Not a Conrad fan. I'm not. That dude pisses me off. Steven pisses me off. Like everybody else is likable. Except those two. I can't stand them. Popular. I've never heard of this a day in my life. I don't even know what that is. OBX. I'm going to put it in B. I think the first two seasons were really good. Season three started off good, but then it went downhill. I'm looking forward to season four, though. I will say that. I know it come out in, like, October. What is this? Generation? Ah, this show was on HBO Max. I tried to watch it, and I just couldn't get into it. Like, it wasn't for me. It wasn't for me. Um... I'm gonna put it in D. Like, I did, like, watch the whole show. But, like, every episode, I was just like, I'm not really feeling it like that. Greek Greek is so underrated. I think people should watch this show. And Greek is very underrated. Um, It was on, like, ABC Family. It has, like, four seasons. I watched it, like, last year or the year before. I can't remember. Like, I started binging it. Like, I watched season one, and I was, like, hooked every episode. It, it It's fun. It's a fun, like, Greek sorority type of show. Like, definitely check it out. It might not be everybody's cup of tea, though. I know what you did last summer. I watched, like, one episode, and I turned it off. 
<laughs> I didn't like it. I don't even know what this is. Something Alaska. Legacies. I'm going to put that in C. It had potential. The first season was really good. Um, season two started off good. And then I think season four was good overall. But I think at this point, they should have had someone else write the show. Julie Pleck was clearly like, at this point, they should have got her away from the franchise. Because I think the franchise would still be around if it wasn't for her, to be completely honest. Tiny Pretty Things, never watched it. And Get Even, never watched it. It looked like a fake House of Anubis ripoff. Ha! Dance Academy, never watched it. I do plan on watching it, though. American, what is that? American Vandal? Don't know what that is. Never have I ever. I'm going to put that in, in B. Like, I think it's an all-in-all all good show. Let me see if I would... I'm going to wait to the end because I might flip some of these around. But I think it's an all-in-all all all good show. The last season wasn't the best, but... The first three, good. Freaks and Geeks, I never watched this. It only had like one season. And it's crazy considering the actors that came from this goddamn show. Like, it's insane. Faking it, never watched it. Riverdale get goodbye riverdale was such a disappointment i love that first season and i think everyone will agree the first season was the only good season after that it felt so yo bro i uh, just thinking about it making me mad bro and sad because it had so much potential sabrina i actually enjoyed this i don't think it's the best but i thought it was pretty decent thought it was better than riverdale they're part of the same damn universe. Crazy. Euphoria? It's just okay to me. I like the first season. It's decent. But it does too much for me. I'm just like, bro, these characters are supposed to be like 16. And y'all got them doing the most. I can't with this show. Trinkets? The first season was really good. The second season, I need to go back and watch it. But I thought it was okay. I love the, the trio with the girls. They were so good. They had so much chemistry together. Like, that's my main pull into the show. Like, I really enjoyed the cast. Love Victor. I didn't finish it. Gossip Girl. I gotta put this up here. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna put it high B. Because I think the first, like, three seasons were really good. Then four, five, and six. Season four and five are cool. But season six was so bad bad bro actually i'll put it in a because those first three seasons are just so damn good and for what the show was we're never going to get another show like this the wilds never seen this in betweeners never seen this veronica mars never seen this it's a lot of shows i haven't seen y'all like if these shows down here are good y'all can pause right here let me know but um and i'll check some out but it is what it is. 90210. I really love this show. Is it as good as the original? No. But at the same time, it didn't have to be, in my opinion. It just didn't have to be. The first three seasons are really good. Season four wasn't the best. It was pretty bad. And then season five I actually thought was pretty solid. They tried to course correct, but by that time it was too late. But the cast, though... Most of this cast I knew before going into the show. <laughs> so, some from Disney, Degrassi, The Wire. Like, it was just a mixture of different actors from different walks of life. It was so crazy. But, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I think it's a B-tier show. I was about to be biased and put it in A-tier. Because for me, I, I might have to put it a little higher. For me, I love this show. Matter of fact, I'm going to put it in A. I, I love this show. I'm sorry. I love it. It is what it is. But yeah, let me know where y'all would put some of these shows. Because I know not everybody going to agree. It's okay. I'm not really, you know, salty about it. Just be respectful in the comments. That's all. That's all I got to say. Just be respectful. But yeah, that's my list. Um, I'm going to get up out of here. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe if you like what you see. Share with your friends, please. It's a lot of content that's getting ready to come out like going into september and then october like the fall is about to be it's about to be crazy like expect to see videos like daily once we start getting more stuff because yeah i'm about to be busy but um yeah 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.